Yeah, and there was a lot of stuff with the buildings on 8th Street that stuff was just covered up to modernize it. But then it was an event when it's like, oh, that was under there. <laughs> Emily, I sent you the updated. Uh, I, I saw that you sent it. I didn't get a chance to look at it Because I put on, I thought this would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that is helpful. Well, good morning. Good morning, Commission. Um, we got Sue and Stephanie, John and Rich, Emily and Josh, but we do not have a quorum, so therefore I cannot, well, this will not be an official meeting. However, we'll go forward. There's a lot of information we would like to share. So, seeing no quorum, we'll just move forward, but we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we will start by introducing our newest member, Stephanie Getz. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Stephanie? Sure. Um, I'm Stephanie. I'm a lifelong member or resident of Sheboygan. Um, I'm director of operations at Sheboygan Senior Community, which is a uh, nonprofit senior living organization. Um, I have my degree in marketing and a master's in business administration, and I'm excited to be a part of the commission to advocate for our seniors as well as for the city of Sheboygan um, and do what I can to move us forward. Thank you, Stephanie. So we'll move forward. Um, we have to we'll table the um, approval of the minutes till next month. So we'll do that. But we can do a lot of discussion items. We just can't uh, take any action today. So programming. Josh, All give right. us an update. I still haven't seen Rich at my dancing classes, but that's OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Programs are going well. Similar numbers still. We haven't really seen any more of a drop off with the summer. Um, we introduced our Mahjong instructional class this month, which filled up in, that was like, what, two, a week or two? Pretty quick, yeah. <laughs> the biggest thing this summer, and I guess since we've still been offering programs, are just the monthly programs are just filling up super fast still. Maryland's cooking class is still always having attendance. We had a seas trip um, on Monday, which went really well. It's really good weather out there for that. And then we have another like monthly trip next month with Sue in the trolley that's already filling up <laughs> a lot. So uh, the monthly ones are still really good with participation numbers. The daily ones have been staying the same for the rest of the summer. Looking at probably October, just looking at different programs that we can offer for the new building once we send out that survey to participants just to get an idea of what they want and then kind of go from there. But that's my quick program update. Great. Well, that's a great lead in. Um, one of the charges we had, so I uh, went forward to put together a, um, an interest survey. <coughs> So, as you can see, the, the, the first one are the current programs. Josh gave me a list of current programs, and they're going to, you know, show an interest in it, and then whether they attend, uh, attend or don't attend, and then whether they're a member, past member, or non-member. And then uh, the second part are the programs that we had, but currently not. And uh, the last one are some possible new programs and my suggestion was bird watching. So we'll see if anybody's interested in bird watching. So, uh, and I think that uh, Emily said that the mayor's intern could maybe put this on Survey Monkey and send out to all our participants and see, hopefully, you know, if we get 30% uh, response, that would be great. Yeah. So, so hopefully, and you know, feel free to tweak it any way you want it. But yeah. uh, so 
Hopefully we'll get some uh, in. My wife and I did it already, so we have two uh, survey takers. So. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so very good. Okay, great, uh, great tour yesterday, Emily, of the new building. I was impressed on how much space it is. I see the, the old building from the outside. I didn't believe how much uh, space was inside, but it's looking good. Yeah, yeah, so um, for those watching, uh, we had a hard hat tour for commission and friends board members yesterday, and I think, what did we have about 10 that attended? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but so for a lot of people, that was their first time in the building, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm fortunate to be able to go every other week for a meeting with the contractors, and every time I go, it's wildly different in there, but I echo Rich's sentiments that it just feels so much better bigger in real life than it does when we look at our little floor plan printout. So um, the contractors are making great progress. Things are humming along, still on track for November um, occupancy and um, nothing too dramatic to need feedback on or to report out to the group. Things are just moving forward. Todd, how, how, did you, how do you feel the progress is being made as city manager? Okay. Every time we have a setback, we kind of review it to see how we can uh, negotiate to get around it. Okay. So it's schedule. Good. Yeah. For those who didn't hear, uh, uh, Todd said that uh, he good progress, even though there's little setbacks now and then, but they're always being taken care of. So thank you. Thank you very much. So moving on, along with that. Uh, one of the things that we're, we're really uh, stressing is to adding the third staff member. So Emily, you want to give an update on that? Sure, sure. So um, Rich and then Scott, who's the Friends Board President, and I had several meetings with City Administrator Todd Wolf to talk about um, reactivating a third full-time position to help us run the building when it opens, and um, also met with uh, Alder Person Feldy, who's our council person rep on this commission, who couldn't be with us this morning. Um, but she was amenable that um, as we are ready to move into our new building, it makes sense for us to add, a, to bring back a third full time employee. Um, so this is something that's in the city's table of organization. Um, the person that was in this role previously. Uh, left as there was no building to operate. So um, the position has been open for, it'll be almost two years. Um, so actually this coming Monday, um, July 25th at 5 p.m., um, the position will be on the agenda for discussion at the city's personnel and finance committee. So um, I'm encouraging supporters to attend, um, not to speak, but to show solidarity in the room, we'll be right here in council chambers, that's Monday at 5 p.m. to just show up and show um, approval of us um, adding a third person. And um, if all goes well at that meeting, then it will be up for discussion the following Monday at 6 p.m. at the full council meeting. So that would be August 1st. Uh, the word is out that you would like some support because uh, my wife in her duties as doing foot care, a lot of the participants were talking about the position and the need for it, mm -hmm. so, and the support. So somehow the word is out there. Good, good. And while we're talking about staffing, I would it would be inappropriate not to recognize Josh's one year anniversary, which was yesterday. So thank you, Josh, <laughs> for being a part of our team and happy yes. anniversary. And I heard you got a big cake. Oh, I got cake, I got lemon bars, <laughs> chocolates. <laughs> A lot of cards. It was a good time. Yeah. Good time. <laughs> Our people take very good care of us. They do. Yeah. They do. love Josh. <laughs> so, but any other questions or uh, comments about the uh, the staffing? And thanks to uh, Mr. Wolf for his support. We appreciate that. Yep. So, uh, one of the things that, and I had to been talking to Barb Feldy about and I didn't realize it is that uh, now that we're moving forward and we're called Uptown Social we're going to need to do a little bit of tweaking of the city ordinances that that uh, run our um, 
position here. And, and there's two areas that have it. One is Emily's position, which is the director. And I'm gonna just, just highlight a few things from it. It's ordinance uh, uh, section 2-422, if anyone wants to go online and actually read it. But um, so uh, the common council appoints the director of senior services. And at one time it was senior activity director, but now it's called director of senior services, so, which is a little more all encompassing because um, for those, and Stephanie, one of the things we are also in a charge with doing is looking over the livability, Sheboygan livability, which we've kind of put on hold because of the building, but once that we're in the building, then we're really gonna move forward on that and. Well, and I'll share um, AARP Wisconsin is holding a two and a half day meeting in Madison in September for Wisconsin's livable communities. So I'm planning on attending Great. along with Chad Pelishek, the okay. director of planning. Good, good. So then we can, you know, we can reinstate that and, and get that moving. Um, so, um, so Emily's position, they help direct uh, the uh, policy of the Senior Activity Center, um, the, the services, um, the operation. So basically, uh, Emily is in charge of the, the building, <laughs> is really what the, the new ordinance states. And then also, um, there's a few uh, things on the other section that will have to be uh, uh, tweeted because for instance, uh, it still says Senior Activity Center, so we're going to change that to Uptown Social with Dan. Um, this committee com is supposed to have eight members and one council member, so nine nine members total, and I think we're at that right now. I think we have one vacancy. We have, uh, Andrew? No. Um, no, from Jeannie. Oh, Jean, yeah, we yeah. have one. We, we have one, um, so, and the mayor makes a final point, point, appointment, and the Common Council approves it. Um, there's uh, three-year terms. Um, and you can have two consecutive three-year terms, and then you have to be off a year, and then you can get back on. So that kind of, and a few of us have done that. So um, we're supposed to meet an elected chairperson and vice chairperson. We should update that language here too. So um, in May, well, we didn't do it in May, and we haven't done it now, so I guess I continue um, until a new election comes. So. Um, and that's basically, in here the hours are operation, um, it says from eight to four, but I know that has been changed, so. Yeah, so I think at the September you get to meeting, determine, we should. Yeah, we yeah. gotta make sure that that's changing this, but it, one other place I saw is that you make you can make the determination of <clears> the hours. So there is a new section in there. 24-7. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're just gonna live there. Okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, is that why that jacuzzi's in? No. <laughs> Rich is kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so basically, um, that's that. So as we move forward, um, we're going to need to change a few of the ordinances to support where we're going with that. So that is that. So is that's really everything we have for today because we don't have um, a quorum. But um, hopefully, in September we do. We do the next meeting September 21st here and what we're gonna do then for the sec next meeting in November, we're gonna push that off and we're gonna have a joint meeting at uh, I'm with the friends again. But then after that, after we have a meeting here, we hope to all head over to the new activity center and uh -huh. kind of have a, uh, get some coffee and just enjoy oh, cool. the, the new building and hear about what's going on here. So and try out the jacuzzis. Yeah, try Again, yeah. kidding. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so. Rich started it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm already kidding. So, with that, I will adjourn the meeting. So, thank you for coming, and thanks everyone out there for listening. Take care. Okay. Bye. I'm just making notes for the agenda for September. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Yesterday I asked if anyone needed the link.